Good morning. Good morning. I am so glad that you are here. Today is Monday, March 29th. It is Vietnam Veterans Day. It is also the opening of our Seeing Our Veterans display here at the library. And we thought it would be a great time to change out some flags. So we have some guests with us today. We have Gerald. Gilbert, thank you. His name just went out of my head for a moment. He is our city manager. We also have Ryan Sudlow and Scott Morris. And we have Tom from Friends of the Library who is donating the new flags. The Friends of the Library is a great organization that provides money for things here at the library. If you are interested in joining, there are forms at the circulation desk. We also have Mayor Pankinen who's going to say a few words for us. Thank you. Uh, if I can, I'm going to ask you to stop by and hold the microphone for me so I can look at my notes because I can't do everything at once. Uh, all right. Welcome. I'm George Pankinen. I'm the, uh, I have the privilege of serving as your mayor in Enid, Oklahoma. Uh, I, like many of the people that are here this morning, I'm a veteran and a proud veteran. Uh, but I want to thank everybody for coming this morning. Now, I, I was asked to say a couple of things about the flag. Well. You know, the U.S. flag has uh, 50 white stars on a field of blue and has 13 red and white stripes to represent the original colonies, but wait. We're from Enid, America. We have all learned the history of the national and state flags uh, as we were growing up, and we all know it, and we're one of the proudest towns in the nation. So I don't think I have to tell you about the heraldry of the flag. More than that, we live promises of our flags every day. We recognize our flags as we begin begin nearly every forum and event in Enid, Oklahoma. We recognize with community pride our military brothers and sisters and other veterans as they live and work in Enid every day. We still hold parades for Memorial Day and Veterans Day where flags are held high. We, ro we rode or watched as over 300 motorcycles brought a traveling wall to Enid to, be, to its final resting place and there was no shortage of flags on that day. We offer our respect to our veterans' funerals with the flag that, that comforts them, uh, that they serve under as their final comfort. Our local Boy Scout troops even ensure our flags when they become tattered and have served their full measure, that they are honored also. In Enid America, Enid America knows all about our flags and the respect that they should be given. Today we continue our respect with our national and state flags with this short but very important ceremony. I express our community thanks to the city of Enid and particularly the li library staff for their consideration that brings us together today. Today, the library also opens an exhibit that honors our veterans. Many of their personal items are on display inside. Please stop in for a shot of pride regarding the contributions of our friends and neighbors who, have all, who are also veterans of our armed forces. Thanks again for your attendance and have a great day, Enid. <laughs>